This video is to discuss the role of aperture with using on-camera flash as well as studio strobes. So what's the difference between those two, flash and strobes? Your on-camera flash, like a Nikon SB900 or a Canon 580EX, have built-in technology that allows it to talk to the camera. So when you change your aperture on your camera, the flash knows it if you are in TTL mode. So for example, let's say you are at F8 and you have TTL with your on-camera flash engaged. You change your aperture from F8 to F11 and the flash will automatically compensate for that change and increase flash output for that new f-stop at f11. Manual flash or studio strobes, which are not TTL, will not make that adjustment automatically. So you would, in those cases, increase your flash or studio strobe output to compensate for any change in aperture. So here is a picture shot at f11 with my flash in manual mode. So it's a perfect flash exposure. Now, if I change my aperture to f8, notice how it's overexposed or overflashed. And that's because it's in manual flash. It's going to output the same amount of light every single time. And so to compensate, I would want to reduce the output of my flash. But of course, that's not what I'm talking about at this point. If I was to go the other way from f11 to f16, here I have a picture that's under flashed. The flash unit on camera here is outputting the same amount of light every single flash. Here it was perfect at f11 and then over flashed at f8 and under flashed at f16. So this is important. If you're using studio strobes, which are non-TTL out here doing the same thing, you'd have the same results.